Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you so much for tuning in. The new distribution is scheduled for YMAX and YMAD. Must be very exciting for most of you, or maybe all of you, because the new distribution schedule is weekly. Every Friday, you will be getting distribution if you hold YMAX and YMAD. Now, the question is, is this really a best strategy to flipping it around every week, just hopping around from one to another and just minting money? Is that how it works? So what I plan to do in this video is look at some of the strategies and see which one of them is the best or give the most income. So the first one which I really want to take a look at it is buy and hold. You buy it when the day it was initiated and you just keep getting distribution month after month and just hold it in your account. The second one, we call it drip. What that means is whenever you get distribution on a monthly basis, all you have to do is just take that dividend and reinvest it, buy it back again. And that will keep increasing the number of share that you have. And the third one that most of you really must be thinking, and a lot of my friends and colleagues ask me, what do you think about flipping around man? Just free money every week. But is it? And the last one is going to be a mystery one. We're going to do some of the unique kind of analysis and see if that is profitable. So these are the four strategies that we will be doing it in this video and see which one of these make the most money. And that's all we, the reason for buying this or making an investment, right? To see which one generates the most income. Before I start the analysis, just one request, please share, subscribe, like, comment. I need your support. I'm in a mission to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and I'm well behind. So hoping you can help me by subscribing. One more thing. I'm not a financial advisor, so I am not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician. What I do is I perform mathematical analysis. Right? If you're sitting on a couch with a the coffee and thinking, huh, instead of just buying and holding this, if I should be investing it, my dividend, which is drip, I would have made more money. Then you say, nah, nah, nah. If I would have been flipping around week after week, that would have been more profitable. So what I am going to do is everything that all the possibility that you thought would be profitable, I will put that into test over here and we see which one of this really generate the most income. And that is all the goal of the investment, right? To make the most income. So let's get it started. Now, I'm going to be talking about YMAG. So let's take a look at it, right? So going to the Yield Max ETF website, this is for YMAG. YMAG invests on Magnificent 7, which is Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, which is Facebook, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Tesla. So let's going back, if you look at it, okay, the fund was started in 129. So let's assume for a minute that we bought it when the fund started trading, which is on the 130, right? And then if we bought it on 130, going up over here, if you look at the distribution schedule, okay, the first payment was made on February 2024, and that was 43 cents. So this is all the monthly payment that has been paid, and this is the amount that has been paid. So let me just copy and paste over here. So here I'm going to do, okay, here. So I copy and paste over here, right? So this is all the monthly one, month of February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, and this is how much you've been getting paid on a monthly basis. Now, the one I highlighted in yellow is that's all we need to do the calculation. So when you make an investment, right, what do you, what do you have? You have the price you purchase and the, the price you sold. And the difference of that, it's either a profit and loss. Right? So that's what we're going to do over here. So let's take a look at it. For a stock price, I usually use Yahoo. It's easy because I go to the historical data. I can pull everything over here. So let's take a look over here. This is for YMAG. On January 30, the price was $19.89, right? So let's put it over here, $19.89. What that means is, we'll see that. So for the sake of uh, argument or for the, the sake of this demonstration, let's suppose I invested $5,000 in that. And I bought this at $19.89. So the number of share I bought is 251.38. Yeah, I, I know we don't buy it in fraction, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to leave it like this. You can make it 251 or 252, whichever you like. All right. Now, since the last payment was, right, the last payment was on 20th, 
9.20. So let's take a look at the last payment date, which is September 20th, and see what the price was. September 20th was again Yahoo Finance. September 28th was 19.24. Right? So let's do the 19.24. So we bought this at 1989 on January 29th, and we still have it in our portfolio. So September 20th, we have it at $19.24. Right? So 251 share, and the share price is 19.24. If you multiply with those three, it will come out to 48.36. Right? No, since we bought it in January and we still have it in our portfolio, what that means is that every month. We have been getting distribution period, right? Each month, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. And this is the amount we're doing. So let's, uh, what I did is I actually put it all over here. So you look at that. So, so I look at it. Right? This is the month. This is the amount of dividend we got paid. I add all this over here. It come up to $4.30, right? So we earn $4.37 dividend on every single one of them. What that means? $4.37 on every single one of them. We have 251 of those. So that means we have 437 dividend, 251, $1,090, okay? So the value of the stock is 48.36 and the dividend we earn is 1,098. So $5,000 that we invested in January 29, 2024 on YMAG is equal to 5,935.14 right now, right? Five. So let's do this. So, so this strategy was buy and hold. So we bought it and we're still holding it. So if so what, how much we got? 5935, 15935.14. That means we invested $5,000. If we just buy and hold, the strategy number one is buy and hold. We made $5,935 value. So the gain is $935.14, which is like 18.7%, right? That's good. Now let's take a look at the strategy, strategy number two, which is DRIP, like dividend reinvestment plan. What we're going to do on this one is whenever we get dividend amount, instead of cashing it out, we're going to reinvest it, buy it more. So, so we'll be keep adding the number of share. So the number of share will keep adding every month. So let's take a look at this one. Right? So as I say, okay, this is the payment date we have, and this is the amount of payment we got now. Let's see. Okay, this is what we just did, right? On Feb, this is what it is. on September 20th, the price was 1924. And we started with 251 and 38 shares, right? So we have 251, 38 shares that we started with. And the price of the stock was $19.80 at that day, right? Now, how much dividend we had on the, the February? 43 cents. So we earned 43 cents. So let's take a look at this one. We earned 43 cents dividend. And since we have 251, 38 number of shares, so the total income is $108.25, right? Now, on 220, right? If you go over here, September 20th, but the stock price 1924, right? No, 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 I'm sorry. That's not I'm looking at the I'm looking at the February 20th, right? February 28th. What is the stock price on February 20th? Let's look at this. February 20th, the stock price is 1980, right? So the stock price over here is 1980, right? That's right. No. So since I earned $108.25 as a distribution, so instead of cashing it out, I want to buy the more YMAG. So what I'm gonna do is $108 I'm investing and I the price is $19.80. So I bought 5.47 more stock of YMAG. So I started with 251.38. I bought 547 more because this is DRIP, which is dividend reinvestment plan, in which whatever that investment we get, we reinvest it. Right? So we started with 251, we got 547 more. So the total we got like 256.85. So keep doing the same thing for month after month, right? Now let's take a look at one more thing, like March, right? On the month of March, if you look at the March 18 is the one that the payment was made, right? 318. So take a look at March 18. What is the price of March 18? On Yahoo, March 18, the price was 2011, right? So let's go at 2011, right? So the dividend earned, per share was 59 cents, of this, right? 59 cents, 59.20. So let's do this. We earn this much dividend and we have this many share. So the total distribution earned was $152. So let's see how much more can we buy, right? We have $152 dividend and we, we have this many, this is the price, so we can bought $756 more. Now, we have $256.85 and we bought $756 more, so it's $264.41.
So you keep doing that every month. Whenever you get the distribution, you keep adding that. You add all those things. In the end, you will end up with the profit of $1,015.82, right? So let's see, 6015.82, 6015.82, right? So the first strategy was buy and hold. If you just buy it and hold it, and you cash out the monthly distribution, your gain is around 19%. But if you reinvest your dividend, you know, distribution, your income is around 20%. Now let's look at the third thing. That is the monthly or weekly flipping, right? What that means is flip. That means is that, let's do this, right? Okay, this is the schedule. This is the distribution date, declaration date, and this is the payment date. So let's do this. Let's buy it a day before declaration date. So if the declaration date is 2.14, let's buy it at 2.13. If declaration date is 3.13, let's buy it in 3.12. And then the payment date is 2.20, 3.18. So let's use this two date, right? I mean, so we, we cash out on 2.20th on the payment date and we buy the day before distribution date. So this is what I'm going to do, right? So this is the, the first strategy that we use by now, right? So what I did is I took this one out from here and put it into the Excel one. For me, it's easy to look at it. Now let's take a look at this one. So what I think I should have made it a little bit more clear now here. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's, let's hide all of this for the second so I can easily. Okay, now let's take a look at it. Okay, so what we're doing is just on a declaration date, a day before declaration date, we're going to buy it. Because what we're doing is we're doing it a weekly flipping, right? And that is what we'll be doing it now, but before it was monthly. So we're going to be using monthly before. So we buy the day before distribution, which is, which is like, 213 and sell it on that day, the 220. So buy it on 213, sell it in 220. Buy it on 312, sell it on 318. Buy it on 415, sell it on 418. So what are we going to do? Let's take a look at this one. Let's click here. 230, right? So what was the price on 213? Let's go over here. On Yahoo, 213, February 13. The price was at $20.23, right? So we bought it at $20.23. Now our goal is to buy it and hold it to the payment date so we get the dividend right so let's see how much dividend we got on february 43 cents right so we got 43 cents now so we are paying it on the day of payment so we got payment on 220th and we're selling it on that day right so let's take a look at it see what the price is on that day the price on 220 is february 20 let's take a look over here 19 dollars 80 cents 19 dollars 80 cents. what does that mean that means is what are we doing over here right we're looking at okay, the sell price minus actually the price we're selling it and also the dividend we earn, right? Minus the purchase price. So this is what we're going to do. We purchase at nine, well, we're selling at 1980 and we got 43 cent dividend. That is the total money that we're going to be getting paid on 220th, but we bought it at 2023, right? So that is actually you're going to be. I, I want to make it, you know, like you get like less than six cents or something like that, right? Now, since we're investing two, I mean, say $5,000. So let's see, $5,000 and the price was this much, 2023. So we bought 247.16. So pretty much if on the month of February, we just flip around, right? We just buy it for the sake of distribution. Then we pretty much didn't gain anything. All we got is like 15 cents. Is that worth it? Probably not. Let's look at one more of these, and then after that, I will open it up for all of it. Let's take a look at the month of okay, March. We're going to buy it a day before declaration date, which is 312, and we will sell it on payment date 318. So let's take a look at it. On March 12, what was the price on March 12? Right? March 12, the price was 2077, right? 2077. And how much dividend we got for the month of that March? 59 cents, right? 59 cents dividend we, we got. And since we are selling it on the date the payment was received, which was March 18. And let's take a look at it, what the price was on March 18. On March 18, the price was $20.11, $20.11. So let's see how much we get. So when since we're selling it at $20.11, which is this one, plus we also got the distribution, 59 cents, but we purchased it at this one. So we pretty much lost money on that, right? Month. So if we're flipping it, right, we just doing the trade for the sake of distribution, right? Just to capture that dividend and distribution, whatever you want to call it. So February, we didn't get anything. March, ah, uh, not March. Let's take a look at. Let's do the same thing for for April, right? Actually, we lost two thirty-five, right? 
And let's take a look at all of this over here. Let's, um, I don't want to waste your time doing one by one. Let's, let's take, take a look at all these things. Let's take a look at this one. Right? Let's say my apologies. So here you go. All right. So do the same thing for, for every single month of this. I, actually, I, I think I did made some mistake over here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. My apology for this one. Here you go. All right, I think I made a mistake over here. So this should come over here. Sorry, I know this is not an Excel one, but I think we all make mistakes. That's the beauty of life. Anyway, so if you look at it every month, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, the income is not great. I mean, you know, you either make, most of the time you're pretty much losing money, right? Let, let's take a look at this one. You're losing money over here, right? This one, you're losing money. This one, you're losing money. So if I add all these three together, right? Let's take a look at it. Let me put it over here, this one. So if I add all these together, right, this one, minus $41.19. What does that mean? I mean, say, if $5,000 invested every month and we just keep flipping around every month what do we get $41 loss of minus $41 let's do that math minus 41.20 we're losing money over here right I mean sir now there is one more strategy that I want to talk about it before I wrap this thing up the one last strategy that I have for this one is actually let's do this what is the last strategy I have let's go over here last strategy is let's let's pick the last month right let's pick this one the month of august and september right some of us are so smart you know we, we think that we are smart that we have the ability to buy at the lowest price and sell at the highest price so a lot of my you know people tell me that oh just buy it you know at, at the lowest price and, and sell it at the high price i'm not that lucky neither do i shoot for it if i were that lucky to pick the lowest price i wouldn't be doing this video trust me i would be a billionaire by now i would be sitting on a beach enjoying it so just for the heck of it let's take an example from 8 12 to 917 let's see what the lowest price is a12 okay august 12 to 917 august 12 let's take a look at it what is the lowest you get is what is the lowest you see and, and let me know what the lowest you see over here what i see over here is 1857 i see 1857 on september 10 right 1857 and september yeah actually I've, on september 6 is actually which i missed it is 1816 september 6 Okay, 1816, that's the lowest of that, all right. So let's suppose you are the smartest one. You you have that ability and, you know, you, you have that crystal ball to pick the lowest price. If you pick the lowest price and, you know, and just sell it just after getting a dividend or distribution for 20 cents, then you probably make 7% of that, right? 352.42, which is actually, let's do this, 352.42. Okay, sorry about that over here. 2.42, right? So almost 7%. But this required an exercise skill. This is the luck. I will not, you know, this is not a strategy that we use or I recommend, but, you know, I just did it just to give an idea of it. No, the three strategy that you can think of, number one is buy and hold, drip, and monthly weekly flipping. One thing is obvious, the flipping and hooping around from one week to another week, one month to another month does not generate a good income. That is a losing strategy. And I have done that for nvidia tesla you know msty so many other things. and one thing i noticed is that flipping around does not produce good income if you really want to make good return on this yield max etf you either have to buy and hold and you know just cash out the distribution or you know you still have to do buy and hold but instead of cashing out you can reinvest the dividend but in both cases the return percentage of return is pretty much very close that is 19 or 20 percent just there's one percent difference so what I prefer to do is always strategy number one. That is my strategy. And the reason is that, okay, I don't have to think too much. I don't have to hoop around one, one week to another week. I just buy and hold and I just keep collecting dividend. But instead of reinvesting the dividend, which does not, I don't see an extra benefit for it. I just prefer to cash out. So for me, it's, it's strategy number one is the one that I actually usually do it. So that's pretty much I have for this video so i hope you like it if you did so please share subscribe like comment and i hope you enjoyed the video have a good day and see you soon with some other video thank you so much